good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know what is up with me this morning but i am so tired so so tired this morning you know what i'm normally like particularly in the summer months particularly on a nice sunny day like today i'm straight out of bed like i often wake up before my alarm at half five but this morning i snoozed it until half six i just could not get out of bed this morning i don't know what was wrong with me i was not enjoying my wake up this morning and i went to bed like my normal time last night i feel like i've been sleeping so much better ever since we got that aircon unit i know i mentioned it in the amazon video that i uploaded the other week like the aircon unit has been so so fab and i don't know what it is i just this morning woke up so tired i actually used this morning at these under eye patches from pixie which i really really like they are the detoxify ones i always laugh so much especially if i'm wearing them when i've still got my glasses on because you basically just see this like gr big green patch underneath my eye they're really great actually i have had these for ages and i'm only about halfway through they're so so handy the only problem with them is obviously you can't take them away um so i need to get a few like eye patches which are in the kind of like single use ones for when i go away on holiday but really really love that i feel like it's helped at de-puffing underneath my eyes because i did wake up this morning and they were so so puffy um but yeah loving those so i'm very much in need of this coffee this morning it is giving me all the energy mm -hmm. Speaking of coffees, I feel like I need to get myself some new straws because I have had a couple of comments and questions about how I managed to keep the metal straws clean. I know a lot of people get quite like funny about it and I have never really had a problem. A lot of people have told me that especially if they put their straws in the dishwasher, they end up with food bits in it. And I don't know if it's like, I just have a very strong dishwasher, um, but I've never had an issue. I mean, sometimes I've just given them like a bit of a, I'd say like maybe once a month, I'll kind of take them all and just make sure to give them like a really good clean inside with the actual like bristle brush that they come with but i've never ever found that i've ever had anything inside of the straw but saying that i know that some people get funny about metal straws so i wonder if maybe i should get um some glass straws for whenever i have guests around i mean you can see my coffee this morning is not looking the most appetizing i'm almost running out of glasses running out of straws i really need to put dishwash on <laughs> yeah we had our friends over last night for a bougie nando's which was so so fun it was just really nice to catch up have some drinks have a good chat and just see them they didn't even stay to too late like when i said i went to bed at my normal time my normal time getting into bed is like half nine that's like my sweet spot to get into bed i like to be asleep before 10 o'clock but yeah we had a really really lovely time last night and i do apologize if the next couple of vlogs are a little bit boring because i feel like i've got a lot of time at home at the moment i really wanted to make myself like force myself to give myself this time did that even make sense i wanted to make sure Oh my goodness, words. My brain is just not in gear today. I wanted to make sure that I gave myself the time to be at home this week because I have a couple of really busy months coming up, which is a great thing. Like obviously, I'm not complaining. I've got quite a few trips coming up, quite a few events um, and lots of things planned. Like I was literally making plans with the friends that we saw yesterday, but when we can next see them, and honestly, we can't see them for like another month because we're all just so busy at the moment, which is what I love about summer. Don't get me wrong. It's why summer is my favorite month because I feel like it's when I'm at my best in terms of like i feel happiest the sun makes me really really happy i love going out i love the fact that the days are longer like the second it gets dark in winter i'm in jammies and i'm ready for bed so the fact that it's like not even dark before i go to bed i kind of love that um so yeah i really wanted to make sure to give myself the time just to like be at home and have a little bit of a break in between coming back from the isle of man and then i actually am heading away on another trip in just over a week's time so i'm really really excited about that so i wanted to make sure that i have some time at home have a bit of time to kind of get the house in order as well. I know I mentioned in a vlog recently, but I feel like I let the house slip a little bit whenever we have nice weather because I just want to focus on the garden. And I spent a lot of time gardening yesterday and getting that to a good place. And I feel like today is the day I need to do a lot of those like house chores, just like little things like tidying up, organizing. One thing I really need to do as well, actually, which is what you are currently tripoded on is go through my jewelry and sort that out because whenever i'm away i obviously like pack my jewelry into like a little um travel box and then i kind of just chuck it back in at my jewelry box so i want to just make sure it's really organized because i can get into a bit of a rut with my jewelry and just wear the same things every day and i know that i'm quite a creature of habit and there are certain things like this bracelet i just absolutely love i honestly wear this every single day like this one this ring but sometimes it's nice to like rediscover things and be like oh i really really liked that and maybe i can like style that up in a different way and especially before my holiday next week it's always nice just to kind of take stock of my jewelry because you know it's one of the things i love doing the most whenever i go away it's being able to like elevate outfits with the accessories that i'm wearing and i feel like the outfits that i want to take with me 
I want to keep it fairly minimal and stripped back and just like a very me holiday. I want them to be very me outfits. So I feel like it will be really, really nice to elevate the looks with my jewellery. So that is my first task of the day. I'm going to show you what this looks like because it's absolutely horrendous. So this little stackers box is my kind of like everyday pieces and even this is kind of overflowing at the moment. I like to keep this ones with the ones that I just reach for that I know are really super comfortable that I really really like but there's a lot of bangles in there and then this is just honestly horrendous at the moment like we have so many rings that have just been chucked and abandoned in there this used to be um a way for me to separate different metals so my silver was in this one my gold was in this one but as you can see things have started getting mixed up this is looking really empty because you have to be organized in this section but as you can see things are even starting to kind of go over like a silver necklace in with gold rings like it's not making any sense and then are you ready for the worst the worst section oh my god goodness me it upsets me just to look at this is the one that i just chuck things in i even have some eye drops in here which oh my goodness i can't believe i forgot to tell you this but i actually when i last went to get my lashes done had a i made a little bit of a boo-boo and it was completely my own fault and it's nothing to do with the lash technician but basically when i went, last went to get my lashes done i booked in to get my brows tidied up before and i've never had an issue before whenever i've got my brows and lashes done at the same time we do brows we do a bit of threading and then we go and get the lashes done for some reason, when I was getting my lashes done, my eyes would not stop watering. Obviously, they get really watery when you get them threaded. I think it's because we went a little bit, like, harder with the threading this time. My lash tech literally said to me, right, last time we didn't touch the top. Like, were you happy with the shape? And I just said to her, honestly, you do you. Because I really, really love the shape and kind of, like, how the lashes are looking. Not lashes, the brows are looking now. Um, because I used to really, I don't know, I used to be so insecure about my eyebrows. And I used to fill them in so much. And now I'm just kind of, like... They're not symmetrical on my face. Like, they're not even cousins, never mind sisters, but I'm fine with that. So I just really, really love the shape that she gives me, and I feel like she makes them look really nice and natural and suit my face. It's one of the main things for me. I have very bold, very dark brows, and I never really found that they suited, like, my softer features. So anyway, said to her, you do you. So I think it's because we went a little bit harder with the kind of, like, threading. We threaded a bit more. Don't know what it was, but this eye would not stop watering the entire time that I was getting my LVL done. So if you don't know, LVL is basically a lift, volume and tint. So they're using a lot of chemicals on you. And as my eye was watering, honestly, bless her, she was getting so worried. Like she just kept replacing the cotton pads and like was doing this to try and like dry my eye. And when I opened my eyes, it was quite, you probably would have seen in the Isle of Man vlog. I didn't really address it, but it's quite bloodshot in the corner. And she was so worried. Like she was literally like, call me, let me know that it's okay. I do not want you having like any kind of reaction or anything like that. And luckily, all that happened was I had a little bit of like a blood shot kind of like it was like right down in the corner there so you could literally see it was from where like my eye had been watering and basically my eye had like wet the chemicals and the chemicals had gone in so it's one of those things where it's completely my own fault and like I've fully recovered now and I'm loving loving how my lashes look I feel like it just gives me such a confidence boost when I have my LVL done I'm not really the kind of person that gets a lot done all I really do is nails lashes and now my brows and that's all I really ever get done but I feel like it really really helps just with regards to confidence I saw someone recently call it high maintenance appointments for a low maintenance lifestyle and I was like that is exactly what I am with those things so um yeah I literally have the eye drops still in in there that I brought back from the Isle of Man that I was just using to make sure that my eye was basically clean and like it wasn't going to get infected um, and then this is the rest of the box how it's looking like my watch has just been thrown in there this is actually a watch strap for my Apple watch which I keep in there and it's all getting tangled up with like necklaces and bracelets and earrings and it's just looking an absolute mess so I feel like I need to spend like a good hour or so going through everything and just getting it to a place where it's easy, it's accessible, I know exactly what is where and I know where I can reach for for things and also help me rediscover maybe some jewellery pieces that I might have forgotten about.
why. This is why I need to get myself to do this more because this is only taking me maybe half an hour tops. Like it's really not taking me a huge amount of time, but the difference, and I have rediscovered a few favorites that I forgot about, although I'm not gonna lie. This has made me realize that I think I need another layer from my stacker. So I might order that online because it is starting to get a little bit messy. And I don't want to say goodbye to any of this jewelry because obviously you know how much I love Pandora. You know how much I love being an ambassador. And I love being able to like add to my stack and be able to create different looks and like style things up in different ways. Um, but it is a rather full jewelry box. That's all that I am going to say. So bottom layer, I've managed to sort this out massively. Um, so it just has in my watches and my watch straps and my Apple watch can go in here as well. We've got some of the snake chain bangles, which probably could fit in one of these if I had more space. So I think these don't have to be down here and my pearls don't have to be down here. We've got the gorgeous, um, silver pearl necklace and then the pandora me pearl these tiny ones this is a good representation actually of the difference in the size of them so you can really see them side by side just how much of a size difference there is so that's all that is in this one it's a really deep one i feel like it doesn't need to be as deep as it is and that kind of is why things get out of hand in this one i feel like i wish this was like a half size um but yes i think i'm going to pick up another one of these this is the one that's most helpful in my opinion because it's got so many different compartments and i've tried to like organize it in a way that each compartment kind of has like a theme or like a, it at least makes sense in my brain. So for example, all of my, my Diamante like tennis bracelets are in this one. All of the blue ones, the gorgeous Sapphire collection are in this one. So I know if I want to create like a Sapphire look, they are literally all in here from the rings to the necklaces to the bracelets, they're all in that one. This one is like my fancier ring. So more like evening rings. This one's one of my absolute favorites. I always get so many compliments on that. Um, and like this one, I feel like I just don't wear these as often because they're a little bit more of like a statement so I feel like that's the best way to describe it statement silver rings are in this one we then have like everyday silver rings in this one but ones I don't reach for as often um, and I can always rotate this out which is quite nice so that I can put them in here if I do start reaching for them a little bit more but we've got lots of gorgeous rings in there this is actually one of my favorites I feel like I don't wear it enough it's like a really gorgeous one and I wasn't sure which one to put it in because I feel like it can be dressed up but it can be every day so I'm just going to put it in that one for now I then have chain necklaces I've got two chain necklaces here this one which is like the um infinity one and then the other one that's the more classic um circle one that you can add charms to i really really like those so nice to know that they're both in the same spot i then was trying to separate the necklaces what i would ideally like to do is do silver necklaces in one and gold necklaces in another but i just have too much jewelry to be able to justify that so i've got my two favorite silver necklaces this one is such a pretty one and i feel like again i just don't get oh goodness me it's difficult to get out i don't get the wear out of it but it's a really gorgeous little like um almost like i don't know how to describe it it's almost like a little thimble wheel you know like um sleeping beauty style really really like that so i've got silver necklaces and gold necklaces i then have my brilliance necklaces so i've tried to keep those separate as well so i know which ones are the real diamonds and which ones are from like the kind of generic collection but to be honest no one ever knows the difference whenever I'm wearing the real diamonds versus the diamantes. Um, so the Pandora Brilliance ones are in here. I then was trying to keep this separate, but again, it's had to kind of like spill into each other. So we've got charms there, and then I've got um, my bougie gold rings there. Um, so I know where those are. I've then got everyday gold rings in this one. So a little bit smaller, a little bit more kind of um, just like classic. And then I've got the flats. Wish are these? No, they're not wishbone. Can't remember the name of these, but the two flat bracelets there, which I really, really like. Um, and then in the middle, I've gone for my pearls. So pearl earrings and the two pearl necklaces. I literally have gold and silver. This is how much I love mixing my metals and how much I adore Pandora in the way that you can just make it so unique and so you. The fact that I've got a gold version and I've got a silver version. I just absolutely love that. It's annoying that I can't make the earrings gold if I want to, um, but no one really ever notices that if I wear the gold necklace and the silver earrings. Um, we then have this one, which is a bit more, a bit more everyday and a little bit more reachful. So this is all of my chain bracelets and I'm not going to lie to you. I did not realize I had that many chain bracelets. Like I love the chain bracelets from Pandora. They're so classic. I've also put my pearl ones in here because I feel like if I was to put them there that would just start looking a little bit too messy um so I'm keeping them in there so we've got chain bracelets on this side and then bangle bracelets on this side it's the one of the few things that I find with stackers they don't have a section big enough for my bangles which is a little bit annoying so I've just put them in here but it does still close fine um so it doesn't matter that they kind of overlap a bit but yeah I've got like my favorite bangles that I reach for time and time again and then my not most reached for rings but my more often reached for so like we've got the gorgeous little um uh the 
what these call the birthstone ones which i love um so i've got april may march and august so that's alex my dad me and my mum and i really love the fact that i can change up the colors depending on what i'm wearing like this goes so so well with the blue of my dress which i really like being able to do so um yeah love that and then a few more rings that i reach for not quite as often as like every day but i reach for a little bit more often um i have two sizes of this in case you're wondering <laughs> and i find that i reach for this size more often um i then have the gorgeous little gold hoop earrings that i've been loving wearing recently and a few more other earrings that again i don't reach for every day but i do reach for enough that i want them to be really really easily accessible so those are in the top one there and then in my everyday box obviously the pieces that i'm wearing today will go in here and then these are also the pieces that I reach for quite a lot so like my brilliance rings I love this little infinity ring another brilliance ring and then my favorite earrings are at the top there so just things that I reach for really often and I just want easily accessible and it's just looking so much more organized and so much better now I definitely need to put my eye drops away um so I'm really really happy with that as I said only about half an hour of work and I feel so satisfied for it. I think I'm going to order one of these now whilst I still can because I definitely need another section just to make it even more organised if I want to. Okay, so I've just come in here because someone very rudely across the street decided to building work done. Um, so there was quite a lot of noise in my office. I'm just joking, by the way. It's fine. Looks like they're having some renovations done. So all for it. Um, but I have just had a new delivery arrive and I'm really, really excited about this. Now, to put this kind of into context, I caught the Wimbledon bug this year and I really, really enjoyed watching it. And I, I know I said that I've been getting into, why can I not open this? Don't you hate it when you open here, it's not easy to open. Um, I caught the Wimbledon bug this year and I really enjoyed watching the tennis. And I never enjoyed watching the tennis before and I'm kind of annoyed at myself because I actually, a couple of years ago, had the opportunity to go to Wimbledon and I basically turned it down because I was like, you know what, I'm not really that bothered about it. It is now a life goal of mine to go to Wimbledon. I think next year I'm going to try and get tickets because it's really not that far from me and I'm really, really getting into my tennis. I'm actually playing it again this week as well, which I'm really, really excited about. So I have been picking up a couple of bits very tennis inspired i know that i said to you guys that i wanted to find some cute tennis outfits and i do feel like a lot of brands caught the wimbledon bug this year as well and loads of brands released some really really cute tennis collections now tala were one of the brands i saw but there was nothing that really like called to me and that i felt like i really loved and i have now discovered h&m have their own tennis line <laughs> literally mind blown so i was really really excited to discover that they had their own little tennis collection they had some really cute pieces because i actually think h&m sports is one of my favorite places to go to for active wear like my favorite sports bras from h&m i used to get a lot of like leggings from there i really really liked it and i feel like i've fallen off the bandwagon of their sports pieces so really excited to have rediscovered some pieces so i thought i would show you what i've picked up so this is going to be a bit of a h&m active wear haul which i've not done ever i think on my channel so first up is the classic tennis dress, let's be honest. And one thing I really liked about these pieces as well, which I feel like the dress that I picked up from Abercrombie recently completely misses, they all have pockets in the shorts. Now, if you play tennis, you'll know that it's so frustrating not to have pockets because you always need to have two balls on you. So when you're serving, you get like two, almost like a temp. So if your first serve hits the net or goes out, whatever, you always have a second option, like a second serve available. So you always want to have at least two balls. So one in your pocket, one in your hand, basically. So to not have pockets when you play tennis is the most frustrating thing ever. So I love the fact that they have pockets in the shorts. I really, really love that. So obviously all of these are scort dresses. Like they've all got shorts underneath. And I just really like the fact that this was just like completely classic i think i went for a medium in this if i remember correctly oh no i went for a large um so hopefully it's gonna fit really really nicely it's very like stretchy really lovely sporty like breathable material i think it's a viscose um apparently this is made with dry move dry move helps pull moisture away from your skin keeping you comfortably dry while moving that sounds amazing um so obviously i'll link all of these down below but this i feel like it's just the most classic i then picked up a white sports bra because that is something that i realized i have been missing in my active wear wardrobe is a white sports bra and if you're wearing a white top you can't wear a black sports bra underneath so i just picked up this they are quite good in terms of like they're not super super um like restrictive what's the word that they use uh controlled i think is the word that they use it's not like high control but it is like a really nice and supportive sports bra so got that for underneath that dress something else white here i do not remember what this is oh a training skirt okay so this is just a classic tennis skirt 
um, or squat, I should say, really. I must admit, it's really difficult to find tennis courts these days because if you type in tennis skirt or tennis court into the internet, it just comes up with like fashion ones. And I was like, no, I actually want like a sports one. Um, so I thought that would be really, really classic. It's got like a little slit in the thigh, which I really like. And again, I love the fact that it has pockets in the shorts. I then picked up the same dress, but in black, because you know what I'm like. I just love black, despite the fact that it's not really like a tennis color. I feel like there is nothing more classic than black activewear. It always makes me feel just like so sucked in and so secure and just so confident in myself. I'm gonna try these all on now because I really want to make sure that I've got the perfect sizes that everything's gonna fit really, really comfortably because I feel like active wear can be so, so tricky to shop for. So hopefully we have filled our tennis wardrobe right up to the brim and I've got all of my outfits ready for all of my tennis sessions that I'm just loving doing throughout summer. First up, the Scort and Sports Bra combo. I think I might return this bra, actually. I'm not gonna lie because it's not quite as like high support as I want. It's a little bit less than some of my other H&M sports bras um, and it comes down a little bit too long like it's kind of a top in itself so if you want this as a top great but I think like as a intensity sports bra this isn't quite the one for me but I love the skirt I was worried that it was going to be a little bit long obviously as a shorter girl but I feel like it's just like a really really nice length I like the fact that it's got the slicks it really does highlight that there's like shorts underneath and as I said all of the shorts have pockets so absolutely love that I feel like I'm going to really really like look the part the next time I go to play tennis oh my god I am so so in love with this tennis dress it's actually so different to the skirt like the skirt of this is a lot more of like a flippy skirt whereas the other one's a bit more a-line of course we've got the pockets underneath with the um the pockets sorry the shorts underneath with the pocket which is absolutely amazing this one also has a little slit in it which I think is really really cute because like, as you're moving about you know the kind of skirt moves with you and I love the fact that it's like the racer style because it's going to work really well with like sports bras and things like that but you're still nice and covered it's like really secure but looks really cute I think going up a size is definitely the way to go with these I always find with sportswear I need to go up to a large normally on H&M I'm like a medium or a 12 so I would definitely say go for one size up just to make sure you're nice and comfortable but this oh my god it's the cutest thing ever I literally don't even feel like I'm wearing sportswear right now like this is the prettiest sportswear I have ever, ever tried. I'm not gonna lie, this black one feels smaller. I'm wondering if I pick this black one up in a medium. I definitely get the white in a large, but potentially the black was a medium. So I'll leave the um, sizes along with the links down below in the description. But look at this. Like I feel like this is the epitome of like going to play tennis in the morning, going for brunch with the girls in the afternoon. You know what I mean? Because it's just like so cute. Like I don't feel like I'm in sportswear at all. So just wear my little socks, little trainers and I am ready to go and play tennis. And again, we've got the shorts on underneath. So I really, really love that because it just means that you can move about. Like you're super confident in this, but you just feel so secure. I am in love with these. So, so in love. So I will leave them linked down below along to all of the other activewear pieces on H&M. I feel like they have such gorgeous gym gear. So definitely go and check it out because... It's got my seal of approval, 100%. Something that I've made a really conscious decision to do this year that I feel like I want to implement into all aspects of my life is to never save special things for special occasions. I feel like it's a really, really good like mantra to live by. And I do feel like I am implementing that with a lot in my kind of life. Like for example, my wardrobe. Don't save your prettiest dresses for special occasions. Just wear the dresses that you wanna wear. Look pretty if you want to look pretty. I mean, I know that I've only got like a cup she dress on today, but you know what I'm like when I'm at home I literally have not left the house I've literally just been doing like work calls and emails I've been filming a few reels but I always love to look a little bit dressed up wear my favorite dresses and just like feel my best things like jewelry don't save your special jewelry for special occasions wear it on the daily I mean it's not even just about cost per wear but it's about like implementing specialness in everyday life and there's one thing that I feel like I've not done the best job at implementing and I kind of want to make a conscious effort to change that is my candles and it's probably going to sound really really silly but I get so precious about candles and about saving them like I got this molten brown candle maybe about two months ago and I still haven't lit it I mean it smells incredible as it is without even lighting it but I think I'm going to light it this evening and just have a nice chilled evening on the sofa just enjoying the kind of like sense of it because I do sometimes find I can get a bit samey with the sense that I do like to um candles that I do like to burn and like I'm not always burning the special ones um also by the way how gorgeous are my flowers looking they are absolutely stunning this is from um hort hort 
florist, I think is how you pronounce it. And these peonies, I mean, they keep flopping over, but these peonies are just my absolute favorite. I mean, these literally look like cotton candy balls. I've never seen something so beautiful. And with the um, the other flower arrangements I did the other day, I always love filling the kitchen with flowers. And I feel like I also want to fill the kitchen with the loveliest scent. This is a molten brown candle. This is the best summer candle, in my opinion. It's the Coastal Sit... Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel Candle, which is an absolute mouthful to say, but it just smells so like, the best way to describe this is it smells like you've taken a holiday down to Cornwall, you're chilling by the beach, you've had some lovely dinner, you're drinking some wine, like that's what this smells to me. It's absolutely incredible. And I didn't expect to like something so light, like normally I like more like floral scents or like fruity scents or things like that, but this is absolutely incredible. So I think I'm gonna light the candle, I'm gonna get into my comfies, and we're just gonna enjoy a lovely, cozy evening. So we've lost the sunshine today, it's gone over a little bit overcast this afternoon. So I kind of just wanna get cozy. I feel like in July, I never really remind myself to get cozy, so tonight, I'm lighting my special candles and we're gonna get cozy. day now and I've just noticed these little stringy bits hanging down on this dress. I am always the kind of person that wants to cut these off. I am not gonna lie, I never use them on my dresses. I've had a couple of comments recently being like, no, don't cut it off, it really helps you to hang them. I've never had an issue hanging dresses. If they're the kind of dress that's like completely strapless, I'll use like one of those clippy trouser hangers because I just hate not only how they look when you can kind of see them sticking out of your dress, but I also hate how they feel. I'm someone that gets really like um, sensitive about like labels and like anything that's like digging in or rubbing into my body. I hate it, but good morning everyone. It is the next morning now and I've got this really, really cute little dress on today. This is a gorgeous little forever new number. And I've just done a bit of a scraped back hair back in a bun kind of a look today because I'm actually a little bit inspired by the film that we decided to watch last night. So we had a bit of a movie night last night. It was so, so lovely just to cozy down and get a little bit, I don't want to say autumnal, but I do feel like it was getting there because it was just so, so nice to have a bit more of a relaxed evening. We actually closed the curtains as well, which I, I quite like having closed curtains. I feel like it just makes it a little bit more cozy. And the fact that it had gotten like quite grey and overcast, we like, let's put the lamps on, we've got the candle burning, let's close the curtains and just get all cozy and hunker down. And we decided to watch last night don't worry darling now it's a film that i feel like 99.9% .9 of you probably have already watched um like the fact that i haven't actually watched it yet so many people are like what i went to go see that when it came out in the cinema like six months ago or something it probably wasn't even six months ago but it feels like it was at least six months ago um but no i haven't seen it yet i never really get the chance to go to the cinema anymore to be honest it's something that i feel like I definitely want to get more into the habit of doing like date nights, actually going to the cinema, but I often just end up waiting for home premieres. So we waited for the home premiere of this and we were able to watch it. It's now on, I believe, Amazon Prime and Sky. And oh my goodness me, we need to have a little bit of a chat about it. First of all, the fashion, the stylized, like the way that the film was shot was just beautiful. Like it just felt like such an amazing, production i think is the best way to describe it and i'm obsessed with the fashion i mean you know i love like feminine styles and like feminine silhouettes it's all about the femininity very 1950s femininity i mean there's a lot that's like obviously wrong with it um in the sense that the women that are in this kind of if i give you like a bit of a description of the film if you haven't watched it already you probably will already know but it's basically kind of set in this like hollywood la type suburbia i guess i guess is the best way to describe it it's very like 1950s-esque where the men go out to work the women stay at home they clean they shop they gossip basically um and oh and they cook as well um but i just love the fashion i loved what everyone was wearing i love the like hairstyles and the kind of like 50 sunglasses i just love that fashion and florence Pugh actually wore a dress almost identical to this in the film so i was like i need to get this dress out this little forever new number i absolutely love it it's got this like bow detail at the back which i think is so so cute especially if you're going to do hair up oh have i just undone the bow oh no i've just undone the bow <laughs> 
but especially if you're going to do like a little hair up look i feel like it just works so so well with this it does get in the way if you do hair down but a cute little hair up look i absolutely love it and i love the fact that it's this little hole tonight but it's very kind of like voluminous i think it's really really cute um but let's have a bit of a chat about the film because I am not normally a thriller kind of a person. Like, I do not like psychological thrillers. I'm not going to lie. I was sweating by the end of the film because I was just so stressed out. Like, it's a film where you just feel stressed the whole time. And Alex really, really wanted to watch the film. And I have been wanting to watch it because I've had amazing things. But I knew that I would really, really struggle with it. So I basically looked everything up online before we watched it. So I pretty much knew the entire premise of the film. I knew the big plot twist. I knew the kind of outcome and what happens. I'd also seen so much about how clever the film was and it was really enjoyable to watch for the first time having knowing all these things and being able to look out for them. Um, like for example, this isn't really a spoiler but if you don't want to know anything about the film before you watch it feel free to skip ahead like two minutes or something um but for example like when she's doing the eggs you know when they she's doing the dinner party and she decides to do her deviled eggs and they're empty apparently the reason why they're empty is because they had the she had the whole conversation with harry styles that morning that she was planning on doing tuna so the algorithm the like programming of the kind of like matrix that they're in okay yeah that's a massive spoiler the programming basically hadn't programmed to do eggs as food so the eggs were empty because they were there just for show because she hadn't planned on doing that for her meal so many things that were so clever like for example she rubbed her eyes throughout the whole film like throughout the whole film you see her like touching her eyes and like rubbing them like they're very like dry they're very sore and you kind of like when you know you're like oh interesting like it's because obviously her eyes are open the whole time like on it was just such a clever film um so really really enjoyed it as someone who doesn't normally enjoy thrillers i thought it was really good and i just loved how it was shot love how it was like stylized the fashion was gorgeous the cinematography was gorgeous even like the homes they were just absolutely gorgeous the one thing i will say it's quite a rude film I am not someone that enjoys rudeness in films like I, I feel like the best way to describe it is I like parlor romance that's what I like in films all we need to know is that they've gone up to the bedroom and the door closes and we can guess the rest like nobody needs to see anything we can just see them the next morning in their pjs laughing together you know what I mean and there was two very very naughty scenes in that one of which was just very naughty one of which was almost a little bit like it took me aback that's all i'm gonna say um if you've watched the film you know it's the one where chris pine comes in and basically watches them and that for me i was like oh my goodness and the main thing i hate about like when films do this is when it doesn't actually add to the storyline like i don't mind scenes like that if it adds to the storyline like, let's see wolf of wall street is like a very naughty film but it does add to the storyline it adds to kind of like the relationship between him and margot robbie and like it's it's important to the the story those two scenes were not important to the story and me and Alex were sitting there like my goodness me this is not the kind of thing that you watch with your parents like it's it's not the kind of thing you watch with someone that you're not very 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 comfortable around so only watch with your partner your best friends or someone that you can laugh a lot <laughs> about it with um but other than those two scenes I feel like the film was just absolutely incredibly shot it kind of like there wasn't a single moment where you were bored like the whole time it was like intrigue interest and i really really liked that about it so feeling very 1950s today in my outfit my hairstyle um and also my jewelry i've just gone nice and simple with my jewelry as always but it was so nice to get ready this morning and have my jewelry box all lovely and organized so i've gone for one little stack that i absolutely love this is the two pandora brilliance rings and i love how they look styled together i think they're just so so pretty i paired them with my two favorite bracelets there and then my little gold one of, one of my many gold chains and i think it looks so so cute and just some little hoop earrings so that is the look today feeling very 1950s inspired after the film last night would definitely recommend a watch but if you're like me and you're not really into thrillers and you don't like stressful films google google everything beforehand and also at the end i'm really really glad that i prepared myself for those creepy scenes um because it's, it's hard to watch like they they are a bit like oh um so i'm really glad that i'd like seen them before watching the film because i kind of knew what was coming and knew what to expect um but yeah it was so nice to have a lovely little movie night last night i feel like it's been such a long time since we've done that and i'm really glad that i'm having words with myself 
burning my favorite candles because it smelled incredible last night and it was just so so lovely to have the lovely like summer scents flowing through the house just to show you the dress in all of its glory because every time i featured this i've had so many comments on it in my forever new hauls my shorts and on instagram like you guys are loving this dress and i love it too it's so so gorgeous and it actually also comes in another colorway i believe it comes in like this kind of barbie pink which actually thinking about it now that the barbie movie is out that would be a great one to wear to the viewing of that that would also be a great film for me to kind of like reintroduce myself to going to the cinema i feel like that's one that you need to go to the cinema with with your girlfriends i might actually message the group's chat and see who is up for that because that would be so much fun and also an excuse to do another forever new haul because you know i love forever new but yeah this dress is just the cutest thing ever i love the little bow detail on the back as well the only thing this dress is missing is pockets i wish it had pockets um but yeah as i said i've done just a little hair scraped in a bun because it is technically hair wash day but i'm just being a little bit lazy right now and can't be bothered but actually i think it works best to do hair up with this dress anyway so um yeah i just love it so so much. i mean i might not be a homemaker quite like the ladies from don't worry darling but if there's one thing i am priding myself on it is my own veg being able to pick my own veg and make lunches and just use my own produce has just been my favorite thing and the sun has actually come out now which is really really lovely so i think i'm going to do a little tablescape underneath the pergola and just set up a little luncheon there i'm going to pick some salad from my garden because look at it it is just looking absolutely incredible right now like this oh my goodness honest the spinach i am literally picking every single day at the moment and it is just coming back in abundance i also think i've left my lettuce a bit too long so i think i need to have a bit of a tidy up in here but i'm going to pick some of my own salad create a lovely little tablescape for lunch and just enjoy being out in the garden in the sunshine that we have lost the sun now which is so typical um but i've just done a really simple little tablescape i am loving this zara home um table linen at the moment it's like a kind of waxy material so i really really like it because it's so easy and wiped down like honestly it's the handiest thing ever the amount of table linens that people have like gotten so stressed out because they've like spilt on or anything like that so it's really really nice that we don't have to worry i haven't even bothered to put all of the cushions out i won't lie to you i've just put out the cushions that we're going to be using um and literally just put out the plates and everything like that i've got my begonias which are doing so so well it is so true that the more you pick begonias the more they come back i've been deadheading these like mad and they have just been absolutely fruiting <laughs> with flour um i also i realized i haven't shown you these yet actually i picked these up at john lewis recently um they're just from the any day range they're just a really simple glasses they came in a pack of four so i picked up more of those because the last time we've been hosting we've realized that we needed more glasses and they're just like such a handy one to have um so yeah picked those up recently so a lovely little simple tablescape for a friday afternoon i'm out of breath because <laughs> i've just come up the stairs Whew. But I feel like today has just been the epitome of like a lazy Friday. It has been so, so lovely. I feel like we're just ready for the weekend and we've just been taking it quite slow today. And I have been rediscovering a book that I absolutely loved. This is Live Beautiful by Athena Cal Caldron? Calderon. Calderon potentially and I can't remember what her Instagram handle is but my goodness me she has the most beautiful home and I feel like it's been so nice to have just a little bit of a flick through and kind of remind myself of what I'm wanting to kind of achieve with the house I feel like summer summer is like the time where you kind of just put a hold on things whenever it comes to homeware obviously despite 
I mean, completely ignoring outside. Like, obviously we've bought lots of garden furniture and I've been doing a lot to like give the garden quite a glow up this year. But especially with regards to the interior of the house, I feel like I've been not neglecting it, but I've just put a bit of a pause on it. And I am feeling a little bit inspired again to start looking at what I'm wanting to do with regards to just like adding a bit more personality in, adding a lot more like tones and textures. I am so over the sad beige aesthetic. It's so funny when I look back to what the old flat used to look like. Like, let me put a couple of photos here because I loved the old flat. And if you haven't been around since I lived there, um, you might not know that this is what it looked like, but I loved it. Like it was very, it was a lot more modern than this house. Like this house is about a hundred years old. I think that flat was like 10. It was really modern and it was quite sleek and it was quite like cool. And obviously it was like in a city as well, like it was kind of just outside of London. Um, so I felt like I really leaned into that aesthetic. Whereas with this house, I feel like I've been able to get, be a little bit more fun with regards to my own personal interior style. And I'm really adding a lot more personality into it, a lot more color, a lot more tones, a lot more texture. And I'm really, really loving it. Like there are certain things that I think, I think I will still wait till maybe we get more into like the autumnal months where I can really start to embrace it because obviously we spend a lot more time at home and I can start to just think about it a little more and look into what I'm wanting to kind of like achieve. Um, things like I really want to get some like antique side tables for the sofa, maybe looking into like replacing the rugs for something just a little bit more colourful and a little bit more kind of like textured and just embracing the kind of like heritage of this house i think it's the best way to describe it i mean i know obviously our kitchen is an extension so that part of the house isn't old but i really love being able to bring in the older parts of the house and just kind of like embrace it a little bit more i'd love to do a little bit more in our bedroom like i do feel like i got to a good place with it last year but i think it's always nice just to like add a few little bits in so um yeah i've been really really enjoying that book it's been such a lovely read i feel like i need to put like little post-it notes into some of my favorite pages just so that i can really look into the, like the styling of it and some of the pieces that they've used and maybe see if I can find either antiques versions, more affordable versions or even like secondhand. I used to love Facebook Marketplace but I feel like I haven't, I just don't really use it anymore. I don't think it is what it used to be and I would much rather find something that's maybe a bit more unique and original from an antiques market. Like we have so many down here in Hampshire and in the New Forest. We're very, very lucky. Um, so I think something maybe with a bit like bit of history in it I think would just be so much fun so um yeah it's been such a lovely lazy Friday afternoon so I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I guarantee you that the rest of the evening is not going to be anything worth filming we're just gonna have a bit of a chilled one and just get ready for the weekend so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got to the end leave me the word beautiful down below in your comments for live beautiful <laughs> leave me the word beautiful down below in your comments so I know that you got to the end of this video because I always love knowing who gets to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.